Go on to our second Dunlop Sport Match Production Cup race, and the car's all re-ballasted as well for this one. 45 kilograms of success ballast for Chris Ward, who sits there on the pole position. There he is, the car number 28, his first weekend in the Dunlop Sport Match Production Cup. Sitting alongside him will be the Seat Leon of Gary Duckman with 36 kilograms of success ballast on board. Then it's Ryan Bensley and Adrian Churchill on row two. As the lights are on, we're about to get the second race underway and the Nissan slithers away from the start-finish line. A very good start from Mick Wiedner at the wheel of the Ford Focus ST as they charge their way up towards Paddock Hill Bend for the first time. And the Warside Motorsport Ford Focus going very well indeed in the hands of the man from Maidenhead down through Paddock Hill Bend and climbing Halewood Hill up towards Druids for the first time. It's Gary Duckman in the lead of the race with the rest of the field filing their way through. There is car number nine, that's Dan Malo, who, of course, retired into the gravel trap at Paddock Hill Bend in the first race. All over the grass on the exit of Druids, looks as though has gone the BMW 1 Series diesel in the hands of Keith Isert, the former Mini Challenge racer. And now Chris Ward under pressure, the Astra of... Adrian Churchill trying to squeeze his way up the inside, not quite able to do so. So Duckman still leads, then the Nissan ahead of the first of the Vauxhall Astras in the field. That being Adrian Churchill and Mick Wiedner still going very well indeed in fourth position. The Ford Focus ST, we've not seen a lot of Wiedner in the championship this year. Here's our race leader, Gary Duckman, over the start-finish line to complete the first lap of the race. So there is Gary Duckman being chased down hard still by Chris Ward. There is Adrian Churchill, the current championship leader in that red Courtney Sport Vauxhall Astra, sitting there in third place. He still hasn't shaken off the attentions of the Ford Focus ST, of Mick Wiedner, who sits there in fourth position. And equally as much, the blue Astra BXR of Ryan Bensley, who was going so well in that first race prior to the contact. He still resides in fifth position. Down in towards Graham Hill Bend come the top five as they were with Tom Carnaby in the Tesco Momentum 99 racing car. Still sitting there in sixth position. It looks so Kevin George in the course at VXR once more leads Class B. As up towards Clearways come the race leaders with Chris Ward applying the pressure now to Gary Duckman. Adrian Churchill is there as well. Very close indeed this is for the lead. It looks as though Chris Ward has got the nose of the Nissan up the inside. That six-cylinder, 306 brake horsepower machine in standard trim is managing to squeeze his way through and pass. They're side by side on the run up towards Paddock Hill Bend, but Chris Ward takes the lead of the race. We ride on board with Gary Duckman, erstwhile race leader, now down in second. He's got to be careful he doesn't slip to third because Adrian Churchill is not that far behind. Through the right-hander at Druids once more before they plunge back down the hill. See these top three despite the fact they're squabbling, pulling away still from the blue Astra VXR in the hands of Ryan Bensley, who sits there in fourth position as they feed their way down the Cooper Strait once more. And Churchill is certainly nipping at the heels of Gary Duckman. Gary Duckman, who is a former Porsche 924 champion, he was a 2006 champion, an IT director, is certainly having to fend off the attentions of all the multiple champions. Churchill looking to try and grasp second place away as they head through Clark Curve, and it looks as though Churchill is going to be squeezed, no doubt, by Gary Duckman, but he's got the nose of the Courtney Sport car up the inside and surely will take second place away. Indeed, he has. Through goes the championship leader up into second position. So the Nissan leads the Astra second, the Seat sitting there in third position. Through the right-hander at Druids once more, you can see that Gary Duckman is now trying to reapply the pressure that was being applied to him a few moments ago. And that in the pits is number 23, that's Craig Curry, the 32-year-old waste director from Grantham. Clearly problems with that car, however, no problems for his teammate, that being Chris Ward this weekend, leading the race. And if anything, increasing the amount of daylight between himself and championship leader Adrian Churchill, who still sits there in second place. Chris Ward not registered for championship points, though. So, despite the fact that Adrian Churchill is in second place, he will get the full points haul as though it were a win, if the positions remain as they were. That looks like... Off in the gravel trap there is Andre Maggi. The yellow flags at the start-finish line indicating, I think, the safety car is about to come out once more. So the field will slow down. And you can see now that they're all starting to bunch themselves up again. A good fight had been going on there between Mick Wiedner and Tom Carnaby. There is Andre Maggi, looking as though he's run wide at Clark Curve. There is the safety car, driven by Alan Molly Maynard once more this weekend. So... Just as Chris Ward was starting to get away, all of a sudden the field getting bunched up again with Churchill in second, and Gary Duckman there in third place. So the recovery of Andre Maggi's car about to be completed. The work on Craig Curry's Nissan, the second of the two Nissans in the field, uh, about to be completed. And the lights now out on the safety car. So we're about to go racing once more here at Brands Hatch. 
Gary Duckman, I'm sure, will be a little more circumspect with his approach to trying to get past Adrian Churchill again. He's trying to overtake again. He's going to surely ease off as they head towards the start-finish line. Indeed, he did that time, which has allowed Ram Bensley to get a run on him. Very close indeed, the front four, as they turn through Paddock Hill Bend as this uh, restart commences. And Chris Ward will run a little bit defensive on the approach towards Druid this time. Adrian Churchill from Gary Duckman, then Ryan Bensley in fourth position, sitting directly behind the car that we ride on board with at the moment. Down the hill and in towards Graham Hill Bend. And that looks as though to our left-hand side is Craig Curry limping the Nissan around the circuit, moving neatly out of the way. As they head up towards Surtees once more, Ryan Bensley trying to close in on that Seat Leon of Gary Duckman that sits directly ahead of him at the moment. There is Gary Duckman, the man from Croydon in Surrey. And as they head over the start-finish line to complete yet another lap, still very little to choose between the front seven cars, ultimately. Gary Duckman there in third place, Ryan Bensley in fourth position, in fifth position, is the Ford Focus ST. Sixth place is Tom Carnaby, and absolutely in his wheel tracks is the car that deposits itself in the gravel trap in the first race, the second of the two Seat Leons. That being Dan Malone, car number nine, there he is. You can see just how close he is at getting himself inside the top six at the moment, but the Tesco Momentum 99 racing machine in the hands of Tom Carnaby, working very hard indeed. But Malone gets the switch back on the exit of Graham Hill Bend. He's going to run side by side down the coupe straight. There's contact between the two of them, just bouncing off each other. That's uh, bent the wing mirrors round on both of those cars, so visibility might be an issue for the remainder of the race for both of them. And they're still absolutely locked together as they come round through Clark Curve. On towards the start, finish straight once more. You can see bodywork flapping also on the Vauxhall Astra of Tom Carnaby now. And up towards Paddock Hill Bend, you can see that body damage as a result of just the briefest of contact between the two of them. As they make their way up towards Druitt's corner, Chris Ward still in the lead of the race and looking well, reasonably comfortable still as things stand. Tom Carnaby now down in seventh place, and here is the battle for eighth and ninth position. Kevin George leading Class B in the course of VXR, fighting away with the Class A. BMW in the hands of the former British touring car racer Rick Kerry. Nice to see him back behind the wheel after, well, what's been three years of sabbatical. Down the Cooper Strait once more they go. The BMW having squeezed its way through and past the Class B leading car. Here comes Chris Ward, a driver we've seen out predominantly in sports cars and single-seaters in the past. He's not used to having a roof over his head. There's Churchill in second place. Here's the battle for third and fourth. Gary Duckman in the Seat Leon, still just ahead of the Dunlop Academy winner for 2010, Ryan Bensley, the former Sax Match champion he was from a couple of seasons ago. And here's that fight that's still going on. Oh, Gary Duckman into the barriers. Uh, that looks like it's at Druid's corner. The car at thumping the tyre wall on the exit of Druid's corner. Gary in the car, the marshal's rushing to the scene. The car not quite sat at the best of angles either. And that was a fairly hefty impact for the Seat Leon. The race still continues for the moment, with still this fight that's been going on further down through the field, the Ford Focus ST, there is Gary Duckman, thankfully he's OK, it looked a fairly sizeable incident, but the former Porsche racer, the IT director from Croydon, sprinting away. We ride on board with Gary Duckman, let's see if we can work out exactly what happened. Very quick into the corner, Gary Duckman on the brakes, but the car going in at well, almost unabated speed. Turns off the ignition, and waits for the marshals to arrive, and away he goes. So Kevin George looking good value once more in Class B. He won Class B honours in the first of our races. He's leading Class B in this race as well. And certainly the youngster who comes from St. Austell in Cornwall, going very well indeed. There's Jordan Witt. You can see that car looking somewhat damaged as well, all different colours. They actually bought a... Another car on eBay so as to repair that car following a testing shunt earlier on this week. And the EGM preparation team only having been able to grab a couple of hours sleep overnight. So there is our race leader, Chris Ward, already having claimed honours in the first of the races, looking as though he is fairly comfortable in this race as well. There's the Class B leader as well, Kevin George. And there is the championship leader, that being Adrian Churchill. So Chris Ward not registered for championship points. So despite the fact that Adrian Churchill is circulating down in second position on the circuit, all championship points would still be awarded to him. Here's the fight further down through the order with 
fifth place, Mick Wiedner still fending off the attentions of the Tesco Momentum 99 car in the hands of Tom Carnaby. As out of clearways for the final time comes our race leader, Chris Ward. Another race still to come, but Chris Ward is going to make it two out of two this weekend here at Brands Hatch. He brings the Nissan over the line and claims the honours. The RJN team will be delighted with the second race victory for him this weekend. Here comes Adrian Churchill. He comes through in second position. And Ryan Bensley in the second of the two Astra VXRs that we have in the field. He will come through in third position. Dan Malone in the Sayat Leon comes through in fourth place. And Mick Wiedner completes the top five. Only just, however, chased all of the way to the line by Tom Carnaby. Our Class B leader once more, Kevin George, already having claimed the victory in race one. It's looking as though he is about to do exactly the same in race two as he comes out of clock curve for the final time. Flashes his lights in delight and he'll be very pleased indeed with another haul of points towards his 2010 championship tally. As for Gary Duckman, well, he's busy talking to the marshals and hopefully they'll get the car repaired and back out for the third and final race of the day. So Chris Ward it is that claims the honours from Adrian Churchill in second place and Ryan Bensley in third. As for Class B, the honours go to Kevin George. So the drivers make their way up onto the podium, garland round the neck and a fine trophy for Chris Ward. Let's hear from the class winners. I felt yesterday was a victory by default because of uh, the problems the guys at the front had. We qualified on pole fair and square, but in the race we had one or two problems with uh, overheating, so it backed us down into limp home mode, but we managed to keep the pace and finish third, which ultimately positioned us in, in the lead. So I was happy with that. The boys worked really hard from Nissan uh, to put the car back together and uh, make it work well today. So Class B honours went once more the way of Kevin George, but of course his championship rival, Andre Maggi, suffered less fortune. Yeah, it was a shame. He, I just saw in the mirror that he put it off uh, you know, at the last turn there. But um, in one breath, it's sort of, uh, oh, yeah, he's, he's out. That's it. no more hard work there. But uh, we were having a good battle with Rick Kerry in the uh, one series the whole way around. And it was really good. I just ran out of uh, skill there. But uh, he is in a little bit quicker car. But uh, good result. Tough for that. Just try and get another one later on.